Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wednesday evening worship service. Hello, beloved church family. Praise God. God is head over heels in love with you. Oh, my goodness. The title of this worship service this evening is My Love. Amen. Can you say that with me? My love. Praise God. The glory of God is God knows your heart. God knows that you love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. God knows that. Amen. And praise God for those of you who have Lord Jesus Christ. He, praise God you done did it. Amen. You ever have somebody slow clap you? <laughs> God has a sense of humor. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> but I mean, you did it. Praise God. You did it. On that glorious day, however you prayed, it was perfect. When you said, Lord Jesus Christ, I need you. Whatever it was, Father, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I make you my Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, right? Wherever it was, it was absolutely perfect. Did you have to recite a bunch of scripture? Did you have to memorize things? Did you have to look a certain way? Did you have to dress a certain way? Right? Say it with me, my love. Amen? And the beauty is, as we're, as we're just opening up right now and just blessing Lord Jesus Christ, it's all about Lord Jesus Christ. Everything we do here, beloved church family, everything in your beloved Open Arms Community Church, hallelujah, your pastors, your elders, your deacons, all of us as one body in Lord Jesus Christ, it's all about Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about anybody, amen? It's about Lord Jesus Christ and blessing Holy Spirit. How do we bless Holy Spirit? Amen? That's right. Many of you beat me to it. Be thankful. Worship. Amen? Be faithful, right? Come. Can you say it with me? Come. And I'm just so thankful for you. I'm so thankful for you. Praise God. And I love this title that Holy Spirit gave for tonight. Because when you say, my love, see, once again, God knows your heart. There's some of you right now thinking of your wife, right? Your husband, your children, right? Your pets, you know what I mean? Your, your grandparents, hallelujah, my love, my love. And, and God just wants us to just take that moment to just meditate in that, right? Just to rest in that, to reflect in that. That when you, when you say this word, my love, yes, ultimately, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Ultimately, Holy Spirit within. Ultimately, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And I pray in Jesus' name that as we move forward in our worship service this evening, that his love will shower you, will, will, will just extinguish the deception of the enemy and bless you with life-changing revelation and breakthrough, healing on your body, amen? There's some watching right now that needs healing. I believe and declare right now in Jesus Christ, in his holy and precious name, by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe right now that you're feeling miraculous healing in your body. Praise God. And remember, share the testimony. Hallelujah. Share the testimony with your loved ones there. Amen. If you got no one around you, praise God. When you go to go to work, hallelujah. But just share the testimony. Praise God. Remember, it has nothing to do. I'm just a mouthpiece. It's all Holy Spirit in you and in me through Christ our Lord. Praise God. Let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord Jesus Christ, for who you are. Lord Jesus, you are the love of God. You are the love that left heaven. And I thank you. I thank you that you saved us, Lord Jesus Christ. It only takes place through you. And Lord Jesus, as we plead your holy and precious blood, Father, we know we bless you in just being thankful. And Holy Spirit, we ask you, we thank you for speaking to us, for teaching us, and for your presence that overflows through every one of us as your beloved children, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are just restoring marriages, that you're blessing them, Father God, right now in this glorious moment. Right now, Father God, that you're rebuking what the enemy is trying to lay out as distractions. Father, that you're blessing children, youth, teenagers, Father God, that you're blessing them with a restored relationship, honor, respect, love for their parents. Thank you, Father God, that you're just removing, rebuking the enemy and all this deception of the world and distractions. Thank you, Father God, that you're just blessing us right now with your love that is overflowing. Lord Jesus Christ, it's all because of you that we have God's love. And we thank you for it. 
So Father, as we bless you in this worship service, we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will teach us, bless us with ears to hear and eyes to see, and a heart open, Father God, for a mind to be renewed. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray, and all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five. Amen. Give your family a high five. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you're by yourself, listen, give Holy Spirit a high five. Amen. And give an angel. Praise God. All God's angels are around us. Amen. Give them a high five. So let's just get right into this. We got a lot to cover. Hallelujah. I know many of you are like, what's new? But glory to God. <laughs> I know I say that jokingly, but at the same time, there's some of you, please, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, let's never approach God you know, in tradition, right? In religion. Let's have this expectation that God will do a miracle right now in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah. Will you receive your miracle? I'm going to receive it. Amen? Because it's already paid for in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I know there's many of you right now saying, you ain't touching mine. It's mine. Hallelujah. And I thank God for that. Hallelujah. I thank God for your obedience because we want God's presence just overflowing. Amen? We want to bless the blesser. And as we bless the blesser, his presence, hallelujah, showers us, overflows with blessings. Amen? So let's get right into this. John 15. We're going to be here for quite a while. Verse 9. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. Say it with me. My love. Amen? Now quickly now, as we break this down, and as we did on Sunday, amen? God puts things in storylines, and it could just be a simple sentence. And these are one of those, hallelujah, glorious moments, amen? That here's Lord Jesus Christ saying that as the Father has loved me, and let's just put up that picture. Glory to God, this is the picture that we have above our baptistry, amen? Here in God's holy church, Open Arms Community Church, Lebanon, Kentucky, praise God. That's what we have over our baptistry. And isn't it beautiful that here Lord Jesus Christ right away, being the Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, hallelujah, that here Lord Jesus Christ is clearly saying, as the Father has loved me. We have to pause here because check this out. Here is Agape, Savior, God, Lord Jesus Christ. And he starts off telling us, as the Father has loved me. We have to pause because here is God Almighty, Agape, Lord Jesus Christ, saying, I know who I am because he is my Father. I know who I am. Can you say that with me, beloved church family? I know who I am. Now remember, who I am has nothing to do with your last name. Mm. There's some of you right now that got upset at me. You take it up with the Lord. Amen. I have to be obedient and tell you this. There's some of you right now that's saying, well, how dare you say that? It has nothing to do with your race. It has nothing to do where you come from. See, when we talk about I know who I am, this is what Lord Jesus Christ wants us right now on this glorious day to worship him in because here is agape lord jesus christ saying as the father has loved me here is lord jesus christ saying that no matter what this world is doing no matter what the condition is of the people whatever the needs are whatever the drama is come on now church am i preaching to you the trial, the negativity, the anxiety, the worry, the depression. Maybe it's a divorce, right? Maybe it's an addiction. No matter what, I know that the Father loves me. And why do we take so much time right now to emphasize this point that Lord Jesus Christ is speaking and how Holy Spirit wants to preach this message? Well, look at the next one. So... Have I loved you? You see, this is where 
we're not even in the, we're not even done with the sentence or even the verse yet. The Holy Spirit is saying, how could God go through the torture, the pain, the separation? How could he get, how could he do this? How could he love us this much? How, do you ever ask that? God, how can you love me this much? How can you make me feel like I'm the only one that matters? How can you, how can you want to talk to me every, every moment of every day? Hallelujah. And it goes back to how the Father loved Lord Jesus Christ. So you see, when Lord Jesus Christ in every situation, every circumstance, whether it was a religious debate with the Pharisees or Sadducees, or whether it was witnessing or, or just showing the glory of God to a beloved child that just wants to worship. Or maybe to somebody that has been drugged through the mud, right? Uh, that, that, has been, that has been persecuted and, 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 and teased and made fun of. Here, Lord Jesus Christ, no matter what the situation is, his mindset is my love. Amen? My love. Can you say that with me? My love. And immediately right there, his foundation, his roots as agape, as savior, as Lord, as the only son, the only sacrifice of God is, my father loves me. And it's in this, it's in this love, it's in my love that he would go and do this. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ had to say. So have I loved you. That Lord Jesus Christ says, no matter what happens to me in this life, I know the Father loves me. And I have to do what the Father has asked me to do to save you for all of eternity. And I am going to go through the excruciating pain. Not only physical torture that is uncomprehendable. That's why that word comes from crucifixion. Excruciating. That came from crucifixion. But the excruciating pain that Lord Jesus Christ had to go through in being separated from the Father. To go to hell for my sins. And then of course it sums it up and says, now remain in my love. Don't you love that picture? Hallelujah. Say with me, remain in my love. Amen. Praise God. And this is what we call, hallelujah, say with me, beloved. Amen. Beloved, oh, how that blesses God. Where out of the confession of the Holy of Holies within your heart, that you are sold up completely in your mind, in your soul, that I am your beloved, Father God. I am your beloved because, Lord Jesus, this is what you did for me. And I will never waver. Amen? I will never waver. Youth, right? Youth, children, that children... It, it may not even be a youth, it may be a grown-up, that you're blessed to still have a, a mom and dad. Listen, bless them, honor them, love them. Amen? It doesn't matter what they've done wrong to you. It doesn't matter if you don't agree with them. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because the Father loves you. And he demonstrated this love that Lord Jesus Christ would die for you. You see it right above me. And Lord Jesus Christ just wants to embrace you in my love, and the way we do that is to honor, is to honor one another, to love one another. Remember, that's the second commandment that Lord Jesus Christ asked us to do after loving God with everything that we have. Amen? Let's move on. Praise God. If, say that with me, if, if you, commit, if you keep my commands, now remember, all the commands that was listed out all the commands from the Old Covenant, Old Testament, that was all to introduce us to the perfect one, Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Isn't that beautiful? That Lord Jesus Christ come to fulfill. Say that word with me, fulfill. That's why it's paid in full. Tetelestai is the, is the word. Tetelestai, paid in full. Agreement met, amen? That's what Lord Jesus Christ did to fulfill all that. And here he is saying it. If you keep my commands, now listen, here he is saying, this is my commandment that's coming up. You will remain in my love, just as I have kept my father's commands. Notice that there's a separation between the two. 
because Lord Jesus Christ wants to make it clear, hallelujah, to the new covenant church. The new covenant church is born again through Holy Spirit that only takes place through the crucifixion in, say with me, in Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So Lord Jesus Christ makes it really, really clear right here that you're going to keep my commands because I kept my father's commands. Now, remember, we discussed that earlier, everything from the old covenant, Old Testament, everything. Amen. The glory of God is all that list, the perfection of Lord Jesus Christ. And he fulfilled it. Praise God. Say it with me, beloved. Amen. Remain in his love. You see, when we have this life-changing revelation, when we get born again, when we get born again, we receive Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit seals us. He knows us by name. Holy Spirit in us will love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength because he is God Almighty and this is his temple. Amen? Amen? His light shines and you don't live in darkness no more, right? It has nothing to do with the light. And the glory of God is as his light shines through you and me as, as his beloved church, Open Arms Community Church. Amen. As his light shines, you know that you are remaining in his love because of his presence that continues to bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read this. Verse 11. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you. Now remember we're in verse 11. My joy. So we talked about my love, right? And now here Lord Jesus Christ is talking about my joy. Amen? Now what we discussed, praise God, on Sunday and how Holy Spirit taught us, life-changing revelation, is restore to me, right? Psalms 51, restore to me the joy of your salvation. The joy of your salvation. My joy is Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he continues on, Lord Jesus Christ continues on to say, and that your joy may be complete. Isn't this amazing how Lord Jesus Christ would say, so that my joy would be complete in you. Amen. Say this word with me, encouraging. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, encouraging. Now I know there's many of you right now that Holy Spirit has, has showed you where we're going as far as in this worship service, but I encourage you, just keep Worshiping, just keep plugging in, just be thankful, and watch what Holy Spirit's going to do. Amen? This is what's so encouraging about Lord Jesus Christ, is that when you're mindful of what God did through his love, my love, say that with me, my love, through his beloved, his beloved son, his only son, Lord Jesus Christ, when you're mindful as far as how much God loves you, that Lord Jesus Christ would come, fulfill everything and because Lord Jesus Christ loved us that's what he did he went through the cross and now to be in his love to be beloved Holy Spirit now has to live in you and me that only takes place through Lord Jesus Christ you see it's this kind of joy that brings such encouragement it's encouraging can I get an amen? That's why Holy Spirit is known as the advocate, the comforter, right? Last time I checked, when you comfort somebody, right? When you comfort somebody, you want to bless them with encouragement. Be encouraging, right? You're not Eeyore. You're not negative. You're right. You're, 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 you're not negative or bitter or sour, right? Or harsh. You're encouraging. That's who Holy Spirit is in you and in me. And glory to God, that's how you bless his presence when you completely cleanse the temple of God. Say with me, I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Praise God. And when you're mindful of Lord Jesus Christ and being thankful, his presence in you and in me will continue to, to overflow, to cleanse, right, to rebuke what this world is trying to distract us in. Amen? So we're just going to put here on the bottom, in John 15, 9, remain in my love, that's beloved, and here in verse 11, right, my joy, which is encouraging. Praise God. Verse 12. Say with me, verse 12. My command is this, love each other. 
as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And in the beauty of our God, our God says, you are my friends if you do what I command. So remember, we're just keeping these bullet points up here as far as beloved and encouraging because once again, Lord Jesus Christ is saying, remain in my love. Just as the Father has loved me, so as I loved you, and that's what he showed, what he did through the cross to save us. And he said, remain in my love, beloved. Remain in my love. And how do we remain in his love? Worship. Right? Relationship with God. Blessing the Father, being thankful. Hallelujah. In everything, just allowing God to flow through your life. Amen? And it's in this that you know that you are saved. Because the presence of the Holy Spirit in you, his voice you hear clearly, and you know his voice. And he guides you and leads you, he directs your path. And he blesses you with his presence, his light shining through you, and it overwhelms you with such joy, amen? And it's in this joy that you have the encouragement from the advocate, right? The encouraging word from Holy Spirit, right? You may be going through a season right now where the enemy is trying to distract you and there, there seems like there's no hope. But Holy Spirit's voice is, I've been here. I've already been here and I have gone before you. I will orchestrate your steps. All I ask of you, beloved child, is to stay focused on Lord Jesus Christ. Be thankful and watch me move mountains. Be thankful. And you will walk on water. You won't sink. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Praise God. Oh, let's move on. Hallelujah. we got a lot to cover. Verse 15, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. Hallelujah. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. And glory to God, here is agape. Here is... Come on, help me out now. Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And here, Lord Jesus Christ right now is making the introduction and speaking the absolute truth to the abundant life that Holy Spirit will live in you and in me as a new covenant church paid for through his holy blood, through his perfect sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Glory to God. Now, when you know all this, you know that Lord Jesus Christ is talking about the Father, hallelujah, and how Lord Jesus Christ, after he is glorified and is seated in the right hand, because that's where Lord Jesus Christ is. Can I get an amen? He's in heaven, hallelujah, seated at the right hand of the Father. All authority, all power, glory, 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 hallelujah, amen? You could just see it right now, all the elders, hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Amen. Say that with me, beloved church family. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. See, right now we just joined all of heaven and your praises just fill, fill heaven in the overflow. Amen. And right there, that's what Lord Jesus Christ said. I will speak to you and through you from my Father, for my Father has sent Holy Spirit. And say it with me, agape. Amen, agape. So as you can see right here, this is John 15. Verse 9, remain in my love. Verse 11, my joy. Right? Encouraging. In verse 15, what we just discussed, agape, amen? And now, we are in verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you. Say this word with me, repentance. You see, it's this type of repentance where we realize, beloved church family, please, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, let's push through. Let's push through in worship. We're about to close, amen? Let's push through. It's not a matter 
of how much you love God. It's not. It's all about my love. Now remember when we say this, when we say my love, here is God Almighty saying, you didn't choose me, I chose you. You didn't love me, I loved you. You see, God is head over heels in love with you. And this is where many of us need to make this adjustment. Because when we rely on our own love towards God, it's a failing love. Listen, I was deceived this way for many years in my, war, in my walk and my work with Lord Jesus Christ because that's what it became. It became all idle works trying to prove my love for God. But glory to God in repentance in just saying, God, forgive me. I'm sorry because I receive my love. I receive my Lord Jesus Christ, my love. And I receive you, Father, and I know that your perfect love is towards me because you chose me. When you live life knowing the love of Father God that only comes through Lord Jesus Christ, the power and anointing of his love manifested through Holy Spirit in you and in me is beyond comprehension. The power and anointing of God Almighty, his resurrection power, will shine through every obstacle, every trial, every deception of the enemy. It will pierce through hell. It will cut every demonic head off because of my love. Say that with me, my love. My love has a name. His name is, say with me, Lord Jesus Christ. My love has a power. His power is in me. Say his powerful name, Holy Spirit. My love comes from the Father. My love is perfect. Say that word with me, agape. Hallelujah. Say it with me, agape. Amen. Agape. Amen. So let's read this quickly. You did not choose me. I chose you. That's repentance. And appointed you so that you might go and, you guys know what's coming up, bear fruit. Fruit that will last for all of eternity that our fruit fills heaven in the overflow, amen? Can you imagine that glorious day when we're all just fellowshipping, worshiping Lord Jesus Christ in heaven in perfection, and you could just see the look of the Father, and the Father is like, this is everything that I wanted, amen? So that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Say it with me, love each other. Now notice how Holy Spirit blessed us with life-changing revelation in this simple word, love, that is no longer an emotion or a feeling, right? It's no longer a worldly object, right? Love. Say it with me, agape. This is why the Bible says God is love. The reason why God is love, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray that this message from heaven, the Holy Spirit blesses you with his presence, his love overflowing, his love abounds. Amen, beloved church. And glory to God, I just want to say thank you for your heart of worship and blessing God the way you do. Thank you for your obedience unto Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for keeping God first. Amen. I believe, hallelujah, I believe with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength that as you bless Lord Jesus Christ and lift up his holy name, that Holy Spirit's anointing his power in you, in your entire family, that his light shines, and that as his presence overflows from the Holy of Holies within your heart, renewing your thoughts and your mind, that his presence is rebuking everything foul and garbage that comes from the enemy. We rebuke the enemy, we rebuke Satan in Jesus' name, and we plead the holy blood of Lord Jesus Christ. And we are thankful for my love. Amen? Say with me, my love. Hallelujah. I pray once again that you're just in the overflow. I thank God for your faithfulness. Please, if you want to bless God with a financial offering, 
You can go to oacchurch.com. That's www.oacchurch.com. And there's an offering tab. And you can give electronically, praise God. And we thank you for it. We thank you so much for your obedience and worship through your giving. Hallelujah. And we believe, we declare in Jesus' name, in the name above every name, that Father God blesses you with seed to sow. Amen. And I just want to say thank you so much once again for just being faithful in coming together as the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. <laughs> All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Love you so much, beloved church family. Thank you so much for blessing God. If I don't see you Sunday, hallelujah, I'll see you in the next half an hour. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Love you guys. God bless. Mwah.